call the hairdresser. Yeah, okay. Yes. You know, I need to have one of those walking around with me my entire life. Well, we, I wake up and it's yeah. sort of because we have the same kind of hair, yeah. and I just like I need that curl action to go a little bit more. What you mean? I come in with it ratty and kind of dreaded. Oh, looks gorgeous. Works his magic. Okay, I have to talk to him. Yes, offer him a few dollars. He never knows. Candles the guy. Very good. I want to congratulate you on this, and and thank you for doing it and making it because I get very emotional when I talk about this movie. Um, what on earth was it like for you going on this set and having to portray one of these people? Um, it's hard to even explain. I find myself, you know, uh, having difficulty articulating really what it feels like, I think, to, um, to give not only respect and honor and integrity to these people, but to actually try and, and portray someone who existed in that realm, to me, is... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, where on earth, Alexa, do you go emotionally to prepare for something like this? You know, it's something that, that touched me so deeply every time I read it and every time I'd, re you know, research and every time I'd go through these books and documentaries and, you know, speak to Ed and mm -hmm. I couldn't help but, but have this ridiculous just not, you know, you feel this emotion in inside and... Um, yeah, I couldn't avoid that. So in those in those ways, I think just just thinking about her, thinking about Lilka, thinking about mm -hmm. these these incredible people, these just mind blowing people. Yeah, and then I understand that you know Ed put you into some pretty heavy duty, duty circumstances just yeah. to kind of get into the you know what it would yeah. kind of feel like. I mean, you couldn't even compare, but no. Tell me a little bit about the conditions that you were shooting in. Uh, we, you know, we'd get up at, at, at you know, it was dark in the morning, and we'd all get in the van and drive 45 minutes out into the into the forest, and and uh, and then eventually the sun would come up, and we'd work until it was dark. Um, and we never went back to trailers. We never mm -hmm. did any of any of that. Uh, we were in the forest and stayed in the forest. Um, we were cold and hungry and all of that together. However, um, you know, absolutely no right or reason to complain about it. It no. was, you know, yeah, three you? years, three months. Um, yeah. You know? yeah. So uh, we used it. We used it. We enjoyed it. Um, and also, there's something so magical about those forests. I just think if mm. those trees could talk, you know, you think... Yeah, it's palpable. I mean, being there, just standing there alone in silence is um, unlike anything I've ever experienced, really. And then being with this cast, too, what an amazing... I mean, Le Lea Schreiber and Jamie Bell, and then, of course, Daniel Craig, who yeah. you do, you know, have most of your scenes with, and yeah. just to feed off them and their passion for a project like this must have been extraordinary. Yeah, we, you know, it was an epidemic of passion. I mean, all of us really just were so in love and so focused on, on, on doing it justice and doing these people justice and... And uh, allowing their family to feel like their story has been told properly, you know, that's a, a major responsibility. Um, but this cast, I mean, I couldn't be, I feel like the luckiest person <laughs> in the world. I just, you know, to work with Daniel, Liev, just, you know, they all blow me away. Jamie, to me, is just extraordinary in every second. Um, you know, I'd go to work on, on days that I wasn't working and just sort of be there. Uh, and watching them work was just... Yeah, you know, a great lesson on so, top of it. So inspiring. Yeah, I can just imagine. Yeah, so um, inspiring. Yeah, and you've got some rough scenes too. I mean, you know, you had to learn how to handle a gun. Yep. You have this wolf dog jumping out at you. Yep. I mean, there's a lot going on here. Yep. One of the cha most challenging roles you've had to do so far? I would say definitely. Um, and and yet, because of my love for it, almost almost not at the same time. You know, I was so I was just so. Um, you know, grateful. Yeah, um, to tell the story. You know, it's it's so important to make movies like this and tell these stories. Yeah. And and actually, since the Toronto Film Festival, I've seen probably about six or seven Holocaust type films. And I have two boys, 13 and 16, who, um, you know, I, I'm just worried that they're, they're this isn't going to be kept alive. That these stories are going to be kept alive. And it's so important to make things like this. What do you? How do you feel about that? I think you know it's it's terrifying because you know history repeats itself and unfortunately something like this still hasn't taught the universe why 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 are we doing this what is what is it why you know so um, that's terrifying especially for the next generation to know that we've seen these people live and die through this and and yet these things keep happening and so I I really you know when it comes to filmmaking I think it's so trivial in comparison to what's going on in the world but when a story can be told like this it can be brought you know to people's attention, I thank Ed. I thank Ed for working, you know, as hard and, and diligently as he did for 12 years to make it happen, to tell the story. And so I just hope that people are as impassioned as, as you know, we've all become and he is and, you know, to... Uh
you know, to tell these stories. Well, thank you for being a part of it. You were, you were really extraordinary in it. You did a great job, and it's lovely to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Have a great day.